Well, we've got more young players than we had last year. Um, but we also have a pretty good group of players um, that have been in the program you know, for the last couple of years since I've been here. So um, with that combination and with the success we had last year, um, I'm hoping um, you know, the young players really you know, develop quickly um, and that the older players, the returning players that we have, really understand the way we're doing things and how we go about things and the way we play. And, and um, it should make a really good combination. Uh, well, last year we came off tying the best record Corbin's ever had. And, uh, you know, it, it was nice to do that. But a lot of us are coming back and feeling like we can do a lot better. Um, giving us a lot of confidence to, you know, you know, be better than last year, be make history with these guys. So that's, that's been driving us since day one. Um, this year I think we've got starters that can – you know, that can go deep in games, and I think we can develop a bullpen that can, you know, be a good at the end of the game. Uh, Jamie McCafferty, um, who's a transfer senior, has come in and pissed well. Um, Justin White is coming off a very good year last year. We've made some adjustments with him in his delivery, um, and um, I expect, you know, him with his experience the last two years, um, you know, to be a quality starter. Um, Jacob Copra. Um, is a is a proven guy um, over the last couple of years. He's battled injuries significantly over the last couple of years and never got a chance to really get a full year in. You know, three or four other freshmen, uh, Daniel Cavazos, um, Daniel Gober, um, that, and that could really probably step in, um, have shown the ability to be a starting pitcher, um, you know, to have, you know, durability and be able to, you know, throw strikes and, you know, be able to keep us in games. So um, that's kind of where we're looking, you know, right now is, you know, maybe our five or six guys um, in terms of giving opportunity to start. Hopefully a uh, disciplined offensive team. Uh, we put together some game goals for our offense. Uh, we, our guys are trying to execute what we call quality at bats. Uh, and with that, it takes an emphasis off of base hits, but more of an emphasis on being productive. Uh, as far as with this with this particular team, we don't have a lot of team power, but we have we have some guys that can handle the bat a little bit. We have some guys that can run, and hopefully we can play some small ball and put a lot of pressure on our opponents. Um, Greg, uh, Greg uh, Romero returns, um, having had a very good year last year. You know, hit 320, um, played adequately in the outfield. He can play all outfield positions. Um, we're probably going to end up um, having him in left a, as much as we can. Um, and he'll hit uh, in the top of the order. He's pretty good at getting on base. Um, I think just the experience of knowing what I need to do is, is really going to help. Um, you know, I had, a, I had a couple older guys last year kind of help me through it and all that stuff, the ups and the downs and stuff. So I think the biggest thing I learned was not to get too high, not to get too low. And I think, I think this year that's really going to – going to help me out and I hope you know to help the younger guys out. Kyle Kunkel also returns as a senior um, and he can play center field. Um, he's made good adjustments offensively. Um, he's got to turn that into to, uh, some uh, production now on the field. Um, our two freshmen, um, Landon Frost and Lathan Alger, um, are very athletic and they have big upsides. They can run. Um, they can be uh, plus defenders. Um, and they've got a chance to really develop with the bat. So um, those four guys right now, along with Jay Kunkel, um, will be our five guys in the outfield. For catching, um, uh, Stephen Kaw um, has really done a good job as a freshman to you know, quickly adapt to things. Uh, will uh, Koning, who's a junior college transfer, um, is also um, you know, battling for a starting role. With our league um, games being um, back-to-back -back double headers on Friday and Saturday. It really takes two catchers to do most of the catching. Um, it's just too physically demanding for one catcher. So um, Mark Labarth um, and Alex Boast um, are two seniors that have continued to get better and, and um, you know, we're going to need some production from them also you know, to help back up you know, those guys. Well, you know, this year we have a lot of depth uh, at the catcher's position and all around actually. Um, you know, I think a couple guys will get a decent amount of time behind the plate. Um, you know, what I want for myself is just uh, to help the team in any way possible, whether that be catching, you know, 
getting some of bats here and there, pinch hitting, um, and helping the younger guys out. Um, first base, we return uh, Lance Foster. Um, has you know is coming off a pretty solid year with the bat. Um, he's beginning to show more power. Um, we have also moved uh, Matt Hamlin um, to add us uh, some right-handed power from that side at first base. Nathan Williams has transferred in uh, from a junior college, and he's got power. And we need we need some power on the corners, and we're hoping he can provide that. Uh, Jordan Johansson returns um, after hitting 300 in a part-time role last year. And we've moved him from the middle infield uh, uh, to a third base. So, um, um, and he'll be hitting in the middle of the order. He's developed well. Um, he puts the ball in play really well. And um, I can see him being a pretty good uh, middle of the order type hitter. Um, the middle infield, uh, we return Mark Gallegos um, as an all league performer. Um, and he's a catalyst of our team. He'll hit in the leadoff spot. Um, he's made some adjustments offensively to even be better. Um, he's smoothing things out, continues to smooth things out um, on the defensive side. Um, and, you know, we expect him to have another really, really good year and even even get better than the year that he had last year. Um, he, he uh, you know, stole a lot of bases and, and you know, just, you know, created um, a lot of momentum for our offense. Uh, just last year coming in, being able to play a lot as a freshman was was pretty pretty big for myself personally, and I think that um, as a freshman coming into a program, if you really want to play, you can. You have to do a lot off the field, but it's it's definitely possible for anybody coming into this program. And coming back with a lot of young guys coming in, I feel like I can help them quite a bit with different things about you know staying poised and, and playing within themselves because it's it's kind of a nerve wracking experience playing with a lot of guys a lot older. And, and really good competition, and uh, it's definitely doable for everyone on our team. So it's nice to be able to help them out. We also transferred in uh, Derek Leg, um, who is a senior transfer uh, from Cal State Fullerton, um, is going to add a lot of experience to our club. Um, he's shown that he has ability to hit in the middle of the lineup. I think he's you know very good on the double play, and I think he's really going to stabilize things in the infield. Um, and we're you know we lack some. Um, history of success there ahead of the nose two guys. So Andy Hill um, will play some infield and some outfield. We hope to use his speed. Um, he's adjusted his swing, you know, pretty well, and um, he's got a chance to help us on the offensive end of it. So if the freshmen develop and the new players that we have, the transfer, you know, players, you know, come in and fit in right away, and the returning seniors. Um, you know, really contribute. Those are the parts of the puzzle that we've got to have to be as good as we can be.